Hi, I'm Wendy Dodds. I work with the Jefferson Soil and Water Conservation District and we're going to continue these short videos of quick and easy ways that you can try to collect some of the water that maybe exists on your farm during drought but isn't being captured. So in Jefferson County, at least I would say it's pretty safe to say that most of our pasture operations, even in drought times, may have a situation like this out on the back 40 where it's very hard to get to. Um, some people may be just turning their cows out to find that little muddy source like this and drink at that. Uh, but there's multiple reasons why we would prefer that that wasn't the case. Uh, there are better ways to do it for the health of the animal, for the health of the environment. So the, one of the reasons is definitely if you just let the whole herd come back here to drink out of this seep or spring as it exists, basically they're not going to be getting the water quantity that they need. Um, and then all of them moving in here together is going to destroy the integrity of the soil and mess that situation up even more. They're going to be wallowing in it, stepping in it. Um, it's the surface water that they're defecating in essentially. So it's just not good for the health of the animal. It's not good for the volume of water they need. And again, it's just not good for the erosion aspect of this, especially if you determine that you wanted to do something with this area later. Uh, so basically, uh, we're going to talk about some different ways that we can very quickly uh, collect this water in a way that makes it easier for the cows or sheep to drink from. All right, so in a drought situation like we're in right now, we have to realize that if we've got free flowing water somewhere, that is a very good spring. It's a very good seep or spring, however, whatever you want to call it. And we really need to be thinking about developing it in a permanent way at some point. We all know that in a drought is probably not the time that we, we have the time, money, or excavators available to be able to develop a spring. But if, if we've got free flowing water, that needs to be marked down and we need to be talking about developing that water going forward. So what we would do to develop a spring permanently, we would dig um, above where the water comes out, down to the water level, put gravel in, put perforated pipe in, into a solid pipe and down to a, a tank that we could pump out of or a stock tank or both. Um, but today we're going to talk about what, what I've been calling a peasant level um, spring development. Something that we can do quickly uh, to be able to get us some water, to capture some water, uh, to either put it into a stock tank, a, a temporary stock tank, or a uh, temporary tank of some kind above ground to be able to pump out of to a, a tank that we may have in the truck bed or on a wagon bed uh, to be able to haul to our livestock. So in, in this peasant level sort of system, uh, we would take this free flowing stream here and, and put a, a shallow layer of dirt across that stream and then place a pipe in that shallow level of dirt uh, and, and then put some more dirt across it. All we need to do is build enough of a dike here to force the water into the pipe so that we can then take that pipe further down and, like I said, run into a stock tank or another tank. So we're going to show that in here in successive videos, but we'll, I, I just have kind of cleaned this so that it's straight so that I can lay the pipe in there. I'll, I'll sprinkle some dirt on it and then put the pipe in the, in the dirt, pack it down with my feet, and then continue to put layers of dirt on top of it, hopefully in, at the same time getting it wet because we need that, that dirt to be just a little bit wet to be able to tamp and stay in there. And at that point, then we'll have a dike and a small water catchment that will push the water through the pipe. We need to build that dike up just a little bit above the pipe and then also pro probably, or we should, give it a route around. In case we get one of those big thunderstorms that we're all hoping we get, that water will come screaming down through here and take out our temporary dike. We need to give it a, a way to go around it so hopefully it won't destroy that. But know that if we get a storm, you may have to come down here and do some maintenance. That's why this is a temporary thing. The other thing is, as we go forward, I don't want to forget to mention, if you have livestock loose in this area, this is somewhere we need to be thinking about temporary fence, a solar charger, something to keep them out of it. Even if we covered it over with, with galvanized roofing or something, just to keep them out of it, because if they come and stamp through that dike, they're going to just ruin it. It's something we're going to continue to fix uh, day after day after day. If we want this to collect water, we've got to make sure that nothing's getting in here and ruining it. And also we need to be mindful of leaves because we're starting to get a bunch of leaf drop. The leaves will plug up that pipe. The best way would be to put a cap on the end and small holes in it so the water got in it 
rather than taking leaves and dirt and debris into our pipeline. All right, so what we've done here, you can see we got water flowing already, and uh, I, it's funny, it, we did this all in about four or five minutes. So we put a small little dike here. Now this is, this is minimum. I would extend that a whole lot further. I would bring it up at least three, four, five inches above that pipe if possible, but you can see we're already collecting water. And in, in my experience and, and what I've done here over the last 20 years in developing springs, that's a good gallon a minute that we're collecting there. Uh, a gallon a minute, of course, is 1,440 gallons a day in a 24-hour period. Uh, we're talking about a beef cow typically in Jefferson County that's going to drink 20 to 30 gallons of water a day. So y'all can do the math, 1,440 gallons, that's going to water quite a few beef cows. And it's just something we did pretty quick uh, to be able to collect the water. Now, with that being said, we now need to put this into a tank, either a tank that the cows can drink out of, or a, a, a tank that we can pump out of, and we need to have enough reservoir down there to collect that water. And I'm not saying it has to be 1,440 gallons, but you need to know how many times a day you ought to be pumping the water out if you don't want to lose any. Um, and in, in the future, like I said, we would want to develop this and develop it permanently. This is just a quick way to get a bunch of water for the cows and realize they're not going to drink the full 20 or 30 gallon all at one time. They're going to drink it over a, a eight hour period or a 12 hour period. So we've got the opportunity to collect a bunch of water here that we didn't have. And if we're one of those situations where we're hauling water from a distance away, at least now we're collecting water right here at the farm and we don't have to leave the farm to go get more water.